Hello YouTube, Farmer Joe here, how's it going? Um, going up for the second video, I don't know if you've watched the first one, if not, you'll find a link in the description below. Um, I am going to continue from where I left off, which is actually in Russia. Um, that was within my first hour of gameplay. Um, you, yeah, you can see the video if you want. Um, it kind of explains how to get through things in the quickest manner so that you can gain a couple of very powerful vehicles within your first hour. Those two vehicles are the Taiga 6436 and the Azov 64131. Um, this is your heavy workhorse and this is your party truck. This thing goes everywhere pretty quickly, but it does chew the fuel pretty good. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, it's good, but this is what I'm going to use to go get the upgrade for this. And the upgrade that I'm talking about is this. The gearbox. The advanced special gearbox. So I'm going to go hunt that upgrade down. Um, look, you can go just start doing missions, but I highly recommend it. It's, it's a powerful upgrade for this vehicle, and it just turns it into an absolute freight train. Um, so that's what I'm going to go do. So we'll retain that. And in order to do that, we have to go to Alaska. Okay, so that upgrade is in Alaska, so this is a continuation. Um, so we'll go back into North Point, and we'll start there. Um, get into the garage, as you do. Um, yeah, look, the reason I'm hunting this down is, well, you get an extra gear, like a top gear on five instead of four, so it gives you overall top speed. Plus, you get to manage three low-end gears, um, and it doesn't only just help this truck, it helps a very large bracket of trucks. So, there's quite a few that, that will uh, apply to as you go through the game, and you'll already have it, which is fantastic, you know. Um, so, anyways, without further ado, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Tiger. That's my scout truck. That's what I'm going to use. Um, I really should just sell that Chevrolet because I generally just use trucks, um, especially very capable ones. Now, the only thing I am going to do, so we were left with $9,600 after all said and done, is I'm going to buy some different tires. Now, they're only all terrains, you know, they're not huge, they're not massive. I mean, we're only level two, so not a lot of choices there. So I'll purchase those, I'll install them, and then I'll go back and grab the highway Fiat ones and sell those off because we have no use for them anymore. So I'll get rid of those. Um, yeah, oh yeah. Uh, probably shouldn't need it, but I might put the short round cap intake on just in case. Just because you never know. And let's give her a quick respray. Uh, yeah, we're in the snow. Let's make it white. Um, and actually, you know what? I think I'll check one more thing. Let's see if we can get some lights on here. Uh, rooftop, can we get some lights? Fog lights, yes, that's a win. Uh, if that's dark, it'll help a lot. And for the front bumper, can we get some more lights by chance? What do we got for options here? We pretty much only got the one. Which... Yeah, you know what? I think we'll take that, because you, you see how it brings the approach angle up a little bit better? See how that stuff hangs out down below? The, the reinforced is worth the 700 bucks because it'll give you that better approach. Plus, if you smash into things, it'll protect it a bit better. So, I will buy those two things. I'll be keeping this truck anyways. This truck won't be going anywhere. So, it's worth spending a couple of dollars on it. Um, all the other stuff, I don't think, really makes much of a difference of anything. So, yeah. Um, spare wheel is good. We don't have that yet. Snorkel, yeah. Got that. Um, yeah, I'm tempted to put a loading crane on it, but I don't think I will. I'll just put a flatbed on just in case. Just be a little bit of weight. If nothing, a bit of protection when backing up and stuff like that. So, barely afford it. So, we're pretty much broke now, but we're set. I'll probably sell a few of these things after. Anyways, so we're in Alaska. We're going to leave the garage. Um,. We don't have anything opened, like you were there for all what we did. We just drove down to one place, drove back up. We did open this pipeline, so this is going to make it a lot easier. We're going to head north. We're going to go all the way along this road here and then head across. That's a dead end in there. You can get into the White Valley, but it's not going to be open. you got to go, go across, and you'll go all the way along. And I believe the entrance is up here. You can't quite see it, but that's what we're going to be aiming for. So it's really all just kind of like a bit of highway driving. There's nothing super special at this point. 
So, you know, on that note, I guess if you want to watch it, you can. But I, uh, I think I'll just pause the recording here, and I'll catch up with you after. Okay, talk to you in a minute. Okay, there's one more thing that I did want to show you. As you were heading north, there's going to be one more blockage, but it's easy to get around relatively. Um, I'll show you where it is. So we're just coming in north here. It's going to be right in there. There's a uh, there's a rock fall. Um, so you just stay to the left hand side, and you'll just you'll crawl your way right around. You don't actually have to do the mission. So there's a mission here for it, um, but this vehicle will get around it. You have all wheel drive. You have diff, like lock diffs the whole time. Um, you've got, you know, all season tires or all terrain tires, or whatever they are. They're not 100% great, but they're, they do the trick. See, like I just drove straight around that. Anyways, I'll be back to you when we get up to the next area. Okay, I'm back. So we've made it to the portal to Mount River. I'm gonna teleport in there. We'll. Uh, move over to the next area. I'll show where we're going. Um, I think there's a fuel station on the way. You're going to want to make sure you use that. Um, that's the only thing about this truck is it does burn a bit of uh, bit of diesel. So it does burn a bit. Um, but it also rolls black coal, which is pretty sick. But uh, yeah, so we're basically going to follow this road all the way straight through north. Just keep going along and up to the next portal, which is the next area. And that's pretty much it. And I think there's a service hub or a fuel station somewhere along the way, and we'll stop there and do that. Um, and yeah, as you can tell, it's night. Um, look, one of the tricks, I guess another trick I'll give you, is you can skip time down here with T. So like right now, it's evening. So if I hit that once, it'll go to night. And I hit that again, straight to the morning. So now the sun's coming up. Now, I did get the light bar, though, which does work really well. Um, but like if you want to jump through to daytime con continuously, you can do that. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'll catch you up when we get to the next place. And remember, there's a fuel station on the way, so you're going to want to use it. Alright, here we go. We're just pulling into the fuel station right now. I'll uh, fill this puppy right up. I'll show you where we're on the map. So, when we came into the portal down here, we went up north, past the service station. The fuel station's right there. So, then we're just going to continue up to this portal and enter, and I'll catch up with you there. Okay, so we have made it to the portal of Pedro Bay. Um, we are currently in Mountain River. We're going to travel through uh, off to Pedro Bay, and this is where we're going to find the upgrade. Now, it's not going to be super easy to get to. It's going to be a bit challenging. Um, I think, yeah, well, I think maybe I'll just let the camera fly and we'll see how it goes. Um, maybe you guys can watch the show. Um, look, I will say one thing. Interest to pay out Pedro Bay. So watch this. If you look at that road, it's pretty off camber if you jump in there. So if you get on that left hand side, you're going to slide into that rock. I mean, it's ice. So just kind of like straddle that hump there and it'll easier said than done. But yeah, just try to stay up on top and then that way you won't slide down. As soon as you go down here at all, like you'll see, it's just going to start sliding sideways and you're going to get a bit out of control. It's, it's a tricky little area. Anyways, so we're going to go straight out the road. Um, <laughs> there's a bit of a... Uh, I don't know, frozen lake. So it looks like a heap of water, but uh, it is nothing but ice. It's just like home. Oh, that might be, no, didn't get any damage, which is good. A uh, little bit of a kind of a creek crossing slushy, I think a bit, but like I said, this thing's got diff locks and all-wheel drive. Oh, let's see if we can grab this just for a bit of fun. Spin this puppy around a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, gotta have a good time in the game, right? Otherwise, what's the point in playing it? But anyways. Yeah, do a lap around the pole anyways. Let's just keep going. Um, we're going up to, you can see it actually in the distance here, this little intersection. Um, so, just drifting along. Yeah, like these tires are not great on ice and snow, but they will do the trick. They will get me there. Okay, so you can't get through that way. I'll show you where we are. So we've come in through Mountain River and we've come across and we're going to go down here. You can, you can turn there, but there's a crossing that's way too deep I uh, wouldn't even bother just keep going down and we're gonna turn it right down here somewhere I'll show you where so I don't know why I paused that I kind of forgot um, 
as you go through these areas and stuff you see tasks like I said before you just make sure you accept them you're not going to do them right now but accept them so if you end up coming at them from a different angle or something they're they're there and ready for you you're not having to uh, drive all the way around to just go back and accept it oh I didn't like that deep snow just wiggle your tires a bit turn left turn right just keep going keep stuck into it you'll get through It'd be better if I had a lift kit and, of course, the bigger tires on this vehicle, but I don't. But it does have all-wheel drive and diff locks, so it's, it's got a fair advantage that way. A uh, little bit of a river here. Doesn't look too bad. Those enter in a little bit easy and then throttle on as you hit the bottom. That's pretty much the way to go. Until you know what it's supposed to be like. Um, so just follow this track down. There's supposed to be a turn off to the right here somewhere, and I think... Is that it? No, I don't think that's it. Yeah, it's going to turn off here. Just got to find it. Pretty sure it'll uh, be apparent when I do see it. Oh yeah, here we go. It's coming up ahead. So this is the turn off that we're looking for. And the nice thing about this turn off is I believe it's going to take us... So if we turn right here... Okay, I'll just double check. Yeah, that's the one we want. So. We're going to come down here. Now, you can come all the way across and go around, but I'm going to come down here past this tower just so I can pick up the tower on the way. Kind of multitask a little bit, you know, get some bit of scouting done while you're down here anyways. Um, so as you can see, I mean, this is a pretty decent scout vehicle. Uh, definitely better than the Chevy at the state that it's in right now. Um, it take a lot of upgrades to get it to this point. Um, yeah, nowhere near. And, yeah. Well, I generally use scouts or use trucks to scout um, until I get the end one, which is the, I think that tartan or whatever it's called, and then that thing is just an absolute weapon. It'll pretty much almost pull your truck out. So, um, but I, that's just the way I do things. I mean, everybody does things differently. Uh, but yeah, I just pretty much keep it on throttle. I'm not having a winch, you know, not yet. Knock on wood, but a lot of drifty snow. But we just kind of keep trucking through. We will get there in this vehicle. Like I said, I mean, so I'm level two now, and I've got this vehicle that's taken me through Alaska like it's really nothing. It's not much of a big deal. Oh, looks like I just got level three. So, yeah. Didn't probably unlock anything, but we got the watchtower open, which is going to open us the, uh, the ability to see a lot more of the area. We might even be able to see the upgrade, but I don't think we will. A little bit tricky coming through here. Just take it easy a bit. I'm gonna go off the path and take my own path. That's the beauty of this game. I mean, you just create your own, right? Like, that's what I love about this game. I mean, if you don't like the track, you just make one. As long as you got space to get that truck through, you just cut through through the bush. Like, sometimes it's actually a hell of a lot easier to do it that way. But uh, anyway, so now we've come to this part. Now, if you were to go up there, there's that big crossing over there you can see it I did that once with a Hummer I just about drew I did drown it but I'm lucky I had enough stuff to repair it to get back on the other side so I wouldn't really recommend it um, so I'm taking this way uh, and then we're gonna go down this track along here all the way around and the upgrade itself is right there I believe that's the point that we need um, and that's what I'm gonna get to hopefully we'll just see how this goes um, this vehicle is more than capable, like, actually this is quite easy. Um, to be honest, this is the first time I've taken this way. The last time I came here, um, yeah, I, like I said, I took the other way. I took the Hummer and I drowned it, you know, in my first game. So, yeah, this is a much easier way to get here, and this has really been a bit of nothing um, so far. Knock on wood, but, yeah. Uh, this looks a little bit more interesting coming up. Some whoops. I do remember that it was quite difficult for the Hummer to actually get into the point. Um, the snow is very thick. Uh, there's some pockets and stuff, but again, I mean, this thing seems to be easy moding it a little bit. Oh, I could winch, but no, let's just keep stick stuck into it. Come on. Come on, just keep her floored. Oh, grab the gear. She loves it. <laughs> Big old Russian truck, man. How good is it? How good is this? Hey, like, far out. But anyways, 
Um, yeah, it definitely makes it a lot easier. Um, you know, I, I honestly don't think that you'd take, uh, I can't remember what the name of the vehicle is, the, uh, oh, what's the, the money one there that pretty much everybody wants to take right off the start. Um, most people just get that American one, the uh, Paystar, I think it's called. Yeah, that's, I think you'd struggle. I think you'd struggle quite a bit. Um, this is by far a superior vehicle. And I really, as you saw, I really didn't have to do anything to get to it. So it was, it was pretty easy. Um, and there's the upgrade. And let's see if I can do it without winching, because that Hummer, I had to winch my way in. I'm just going to keep her to the floor. Oh, I don't know. She's not really wanting to move, but she's still going. I'm just going to be stubborn a little bit. Oh, no, just keep wiggling it left and right. Just keep turning those tires. Just keep snaking your way through. And we got it. That's it. Done and dusted. How good is that? So the truck list, look at, a, look at all the vehicles that it's going to help you with. Heaps of them. So yeah, take that. Be happy about it. Cheers. And then after that, you just go back to your uh, recover. And you go all the way back to the garage and you've got your upgrade that you're looking for. That being said, I am going to pause and see if there's something else really close in the region that's going to be super useful for one of these two trucks. I'll be right back. Okay, so it turns out that there actually is one more upgrade. It's not directly for these two trucks, but I do like it. It is for one of my favorite trucks, the Twin Star, um, which I will be getting after a, what, a couple more areas, I suppose. It's a little bit of ways, but you know, I'm definitely looking ahead, but I'm going to give it a shot going for it. That being said, I just want to let you guys know, to get to this point took me about, about 17 minutes, you know, from launch to get here, so wasn't that bad and it'll help us it'll help me through the rest of the game I actually didn't help you guys if you go do this um, with that vehicle um, anyways so I will I'm gonna go try to attack that uh, I'm gonna go try to attack that upgrade I don't know I've done it once before it was very difficult I, I rolled a couple times trying to get to it it's not an easy one to access um, yeah we'll see how it goes this might get a bit entertaining snow runner is gonna show its ugly teeth I think <laughs> it's, it's not not super easy and I'm a little bit concerned in the size of vehicle that I'm taking up there um, to go get it done I know where it is uh, kind of forgot about it but uh, yeah I'm gonna go get it we'll see so yeah you can't really oh yeah you know you can see it so where it is it's located directly right there I think roughly on the top of that big mountain so you have to like I'm gonna have to go back the way I came all the way back out and back to that turn or back to that turn off there so I come all the way back out to the north all the way along go all the way down back to that turn off across and then start this track up here and then break off up here excuse me oh <laughs> yeah there's a uh, a bit of a curve all the way around it just loops all the way around this mountain and it gets very thin and very narrow and a very jagged and we'll see how this goes this might be a bit entertaining but anyways I'll, I'll pause it for now and I'll uh, I'll let you know when we get to the bottom of that hill uh, yeah cheers okay so I've made it to the turn off for the mountain I came like I said I came back the way I came all the way up north Cross and then over down and now I'm going to go up here and try to corkscrew around here um, I'm not gonna lie I'm feeling a bit nervous um, I know when I did it before like I said I had had a couple bad rollovers uh, the only thing that's gonna help me here is the fact that I actually don't have a race suspension so that brings my center of gravity down plus I don't have larger tires so that brings it down again um, yeah, hopefully this goes okay. I'm definitely going to have to take it easy. I don't think this is... This isn't going to be just a right foot down situation. This is going to be a low range. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. The uh, the thing is about the twin steer. Sorry, I'm just really paying attention to what I'm doing here. Um, yeah, the thing about the twin steer is I find it very handy, especially when you have missions that are a bit of a ways out. Um, and you'd think like, okay, well, it doesn't have all-wheel drive, so how useful can it be? But it actually, once you've got its suspension upgraded and large tires on it, which has very, very large tires, 
um, it can go through surprisingly a lot of stuff. And one of the big advantages is because it's so long, um, you can have your front end in good stuff and your back end in the bad stuff, and you can just span through pockets. Like it's, yeah, it, it's surprisingly. I was very doubtful and I was fairly disappointed at first, but uh, the more I used it, the more I got used to it. And the really nice thing about it is because you're not dragging a trailer around, so you can take four um, four slots with it, and then when you get to your destination, you can just recall it. You know, you can just recover it, and then you get it right back, and you don't have to worry about going bringing a trailer back and selling it or whatever. You know, and you're not mucking up the map. But it's not just mucking up the map, but like you know, you're keeping your money, right? And especially when you're, oh, oh, oh good tree. Um, Especially when you're, there we go, okay. Especially when you're <laughs> on multiplayer servers and stuff like that. Like, you know, you're buying trailers and then if you disconnect, like, I, you know, it's just, it's a bit of a pain in the butt. So using that is actually really good, I find, on multiplayer. That's kind of what I, it's my go-to on a multiplayer server. That Especially for, like, randoms and stuff that I don't know what their deal is or whatever. Um, but, yeah. So, as you can tell, I mean, I'm, I'm getting up here and actually this is, this is, Knock on wood, this is going okay. I think I got a wood desk. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm at the hard part yet. I mean, that was pretty close. I just about fell off the damn cliff. Uh, that, but that tree kind of saved me a little bit, so good thing that tree was there. I was pretty happy by that. Um, that might have been the crux, but I don't want to say that yet. Cause yeah, and when I came up here, I had the uh, Tatrin. I think I, I can't remember the full name. It was the, the Russian big tank thing. Um, and I think it might be a little bit wider than this or something, but or, or just the way that... Oh, here we go. Just the way that the walls are, like the... Um, oh, yeah, the housing on it stuck out quite a bit, so it definitely didn't want to let me hug the wall. This is... As you can see, I'm not just flooring it. I'm just kind of... Just keep feathering that throttle and... Watch it turning a little bit. Yeah, I mean, the fact that this thing has diff locks and all-wheel drive all the time is just amazing. I think I'm actually not, uh, I think I'm actually going to make it here. Um, I'm making it up here a lot easier, actually, in this than I did in the Tatran, which is, I think it's just the wit thing. Yeah, this thing is just a little mountain goat. Look at it go. Like, you got to be careful, though. You can come unstuck right at the last bit there, just drop off the edge and you're gone. But uh, yeah, no, it looks like I've got it. There it is right in front of me. So just steady, steady. Don't get too excited. And uh, yeah, so that means I'll have the engine upgrade for, I believe it's the twin steer and there's something else. I think it's a Cat 745 or something, which is a 45 ton uh, rock truck or moxie or depends on the world you come from. Yeah, 745. So I've driven those in real life. They're, uh, they're quite the beast. Um, they haul a lot of dirt, generally. Um, they're usually dirt haulers, as I know them, and fuel and stuff and support. But yeah. Um, in this game, they just have a flat deck type thing. Two containers, two slots, but it can be good. But yeah, for the Western Star. So in case you're curious again, that's, uh, that's right there. And I just went and got it. So I managed to get that one and that one. And at that point, I'm out because I don't, you know, I, I'm not ready. F I, I could, yeah, we can go through and do all this stuff, but I like to kind of go through the game, you know, a bit of step by step. Oh, sorry, a bit of step by step. But uh, I'm going to recover this truck now. It's done what it's needed. I'm down to a half a tank. It's gone quite a distance. Obviously, it didn't have a heavy load on, so that's, you know, obviously going to make a big difference on how much fuel you burn. But uh, yeah, it's done the trick, hey, which is good. And now we are back. I'm going to retain that. Um, and I think at this point, I'm finally st ready to just, that's like, that's the prequel. That's the first things you should do, you know, get all this stuff done and then go to Michigan, Black River, go to the garage entrance and start playing SnowRunner, you know, uh, however you see fit. Uh, you can keep pushing out in other areas if you want, but I don't think you really need to. Uh, with these two vehicles, you'll be able to do all your missions that you want to do. Um, you'll have, like I said, a heavy workhorse. I will show you one thing. So here's the difference, too. Um, so we got the Azov, right? I don't really have any money, so I'm going to actually have to deploy this one and get some of the money back. So we'll, we'll take off, let's say, the... Uh, where is it? Take off the flatbed couple bucks um, 
We will take off the lights. We're just going to get some of the money back from this stuff. The bumper is actually really good. It's not much money, so I think maybe I'll... Uh, a few bucks, maybe. Yeah, we'll install that one. We'll sell the reinforced. Um, oh, that's what it was. Snorkel. That was a couple of bucks. So we'll uninstall and sell that. And, yeah, and I think we have some tires. Yeah, so... Uh, don't think we can uninstall them unless we swap them out, but... I think we'll just leave those the way they are. I don't know if there was anything else that I could have pulled off here. Uh, ooh, doesn't look like it. No more check marks. That's stock. Didn't change the exhaust. No, we're good there. Um, suspension gearbox. Yeah, it didn't change anything there. Okay. So, anyways, so we'll retain that. Honestly, I mean, you do what you want, but I'd probably just. I'm just gonna sell this fella. Probably nearly never use it. I'd just use this. This would be my scout. Anyways, so look, I just wanted to show you guys. So I'm going to deploy this guy. We'll go and we will leave the garage. Go into the cab. So he's stock everything. There's nothing. I haven't changed anything. I haven't put the gearbox in yet. We'll get him going here. We'll get him wound up to his top speed. Which appears to be about just under 30. I think that might be under miles an hour. I can't really tell. Is it kilometers an hour? Might be 30 kilometers an hour. So that's where it's sitting. You can kind of see that, right? Okay. So we'll recover him. Put him back. Customize it. Get that gearbox. We've just got this. So we install that. And the nice thing is, is we can sell the old one. Another 3,000 bucks. Not too bad. Leave the garage. Let's try this again. So now, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, we've got two of five gears. Plus, we also have three low range gears. So we've got more selection in the low range. So I'm in fourth, and I'm already doing 30. So yeah, probably pretty much the same. Just gives an extra gear, really. It's kind of the way I gathered. So it's not a huge difference, but when you're off-roading, you're getting a few more kilometers. Overall, the whole thing, it's it just find it to be better. Um, yeah. It f oh, oops, wrong <laughs> wrong button. It feels a lot faster. Um, yeah, I guess realistically, it wasn't a huge upgrade, I suppose, but overall, the whole entirety of the game, and as you're driving this thing around, which you'll be doing quite a bit, um, it does make a big big difference. Um, yeah, I, I remember when I first started, or first got it, I felt like it was, it was fairly significant. That being said, I think I might have had an engine upgrade. So if you upgrade the engine also, you will get more speed again out of it. So in the long run, you're going to want it. But, like, it just goes through things like nothing. I mean, where's an example? Here, let's just turn down here, whatever this is. Oh! I will say, the turning radius on this thing is shocking. Um, it's not very good. You do have to plan out your turns a bit, you gotta go back and forth sometimes, it doesn't, but it doesn't mind angles at all, um, and it'll, it'll take them quite well, so it's pretty good that way, but, you know, it'll gear right up through all the kind of muck, and, you know, we would have kind of struggled with those other vehicles coming through some of this stuff, so this is just, you know, it's in fifth gear, it's in top gear, the hard part is just kind of keeping it in, oh, look, I just found an upgrade, I didn't even know it was there, alright, well, anyways, grab that. I don't even know what it is. Let's see what that is. Oh, that. See? Oh, and I tipped it. That's a fool. That's because I did some bad driving there. But anyways, <laughs> on that note, I'm going to go back and get that upgrade, but I will talk to you guys later. Enjoy your game, hey. Yeah. Thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe, like. Um, yeah. Let me know if there's something you don't like. Let me know if there's something you do like. Uh, welcome all your comments. Yeah, enjoy uh, enjoy SnowRunner. Um, I'm enjoying it. It's a really good game. And I'll try to keep making some videos for you guys. Yeah. Peace.
Farmer Joe out.